Anyway, this is how we do it in in or a way we can do it in 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 Blender is basically if we go to um, modifiers and go to the remesh, um, you see uh, it's already doing its thing. And I found first of all I went 0 0.1, and this is where it got quite slow. <laughs> uh, but it worked. It just had to be patient. Um, and you see, look, it's 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 kind of working. It's not, you know, it's already this is a lot better than what I was getting, um, really in the other programs. Um, but so let's crank it up one more. I think what I did is I went to let's just do three. Um, okay, this is about as high as I'm going to go in this demonstration because it took forever. I went to point 0.2, I mean, conceivably we could have point 0.1, but um, I found that point uh, 0.2 meant the file was 2 gigabytes, two, 2 and a half gigabytes, so it was massive uh, in terms of detail, but it retained everything. Uh, point 0.3 is just about manageable, that's probably uh, maybe 1 gig or maybe less, um, So and it should do it in the time I, I stop my waffling. Um, so let's just give it a few moments. I could check the act. This is what I tend to do to check that things haven't hung or crashed. Um, is if I go to Task Manager and Blender and just see that the memory is filling up or doing something at least. It's not. It's when it's locked and it's not doing anything. This I think it's done. It's done. Is it done? Uh, still thinking. Still thinking. Let's just give it a minute. I'll pause the video. Let's pause the video and I'll tell you how long it takes. Uh, pause. Is there a pause? There's no pause. Oh, it's done. <coughs> um, and you see, this is pretty good. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not perfect. It's got little, you can see where the, uh, where the sort of the squares or the voxels or whatever it's using to remesh. It is voxels, yeah. Um, it's, it, it's doing little steps there, but. We're now, I don't think at the size I'm going to 3D print it. You're not going to see that, hopefully. Um, you could, I mean, this is at three. I did it at two. I mean, you could try one, but I, I, God knows how big that file is going to be. I mean, let's let's just export this um, or apply it, first of all. This, this will take a few, again, take some time for it to do its thing. But this worked because I was losing all this detail on the underside when I'd use um, live booleans in um, ZBrush and it, it um, I was just having all sorts of problems um, partly just because the models um, I mean it's a nice model but it's not it was never built for 3d printing um, but this this technique is super quick um, which is great because it's like you know last thing you want to do is spend like a day cleaning up a model um, if you just need to 3d print it um, so let's just it's just uh, I'm wondering whether I should stop the video or just um, uh, but yeah I'll let me stop the video um, but I just thought I'd show you that this because it's a really I couldn't seem to do this in ZBrush or I was having issues and magically I managed to do it in Blender um, so yeah I think that's all I've got to say um, I shall stop the video <laughs>